Right now, tonight, new COVID-19 numbers by state health officials so unvaccinated people are nearly eight times more likely to die from COVID than those who are vaccinated and boosted. So far, 83% of the population has received at least one dose of the vaccine. Statewide hospitalizations are at 1,300, and more than 90,000 people have died from complications related to the virus since the start of the pandemic. And our region here has the highest COVID-19 case rate in the state right now, and that has health officers around Greater Bay Area once again strongly encouraging people to wear masks indoors. KTV's Emma Goss is live at Berkeley with how businesses and people feel about this message from public health. Emma. Andre, a Berkeley Law School student who graduated today, tells me she's seen an uptick in mild breakthrough COVID infections among her peers recently. It's a trend most Bay Area counties are seeing. 12 Bay Area health officers released a joint statement Friday urging the public to once again mask up indoors because COVID-19 cases and now hospitalizations are on the rise. San Francisco Public Health is reporting more than 60 people are hospitalized with COVID. It's the largest uptick around the Bay Area. Yes, Dr. Monica Gandhi at UCSF says it's a manageable caseload for hospitals. And at this point, there's so much immunity that we're seeing cases, but they're mostly mild. And essentially, our hospitalizations are still staying very low. Which is why Bay Area public health officers are recommending, rather than mandating, masks be worn indoors. They're leaving it up to each person to determine their own risk, and some already are when it comes to dining out. We've seen some people really wanting to be more outside than it was like a few weeks ago, probably. This French mask restaurant on Battery Street was fully staffed for a Friday dinner rush. The winter Omicron surge kept workers, even the owner, out sick in December. Not these days. So far, I can, I can, it doesn't translate to the business yet. But, uh, you, you know, as we say, it's a, it's a day by day and we're going to have to see what's happening. This Berkeley Law grad plans to move to San Francisco shortly. She's also planning to wear a mask. She said many of her classmates tested positive for COVID in the last month. Feel comfortable continuing to mask because uh, I think it is uh, the best way to combat COVID. Public health officers also recommend people ask their doctor if antiviral medications like Paxlovid, which is meant for people with a higher risk for severe illness, could help shorten the course of symptoms if they test positive. We're live in Berkeley, Emma Goss, KTVU, Fox 2 News.